We're going to now factor polynomials with sum and difference of cubes. This is new for you. Here's the rule when you have two perfect cubes with an addition symbol between them. How you factor it is what's written here in the blue. How it'll look is a perfect cube plus another perfect cube. So here's our example. We want to factor y cubed plus 8. So what I recommend you always do is you rewrite them as perfect cubes. So this is y cubed. That's a pretty self-explanatory, just y times y times y. But the 8, you need to figure out what three numbers, being the same, raised to the third power would give you 8. So 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 8. Now you plug it in to this blue rule right here. This is going to be your a. And that's going to be your b in the rule. So how it'll look would be y plus 2, and then y squared minus y times 2 plus 2 squared. And then you just clean up that second parenthesis. So y squared Negative y times 2 is negative 2y, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Let's do one more of those. I have the rule up there. We have x cubed. That's still just x cubed, but now we have to rewrite 27. 27 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3. So this is your a, and that's your b in this rule. So now it's x plus 3, x squared minus x times 3 plus 3 squared. Now clean it up. Negative x times 3 is negative 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. And there it is in factored form. All right, the last two examples are going to be when you have um, a subtraction. So this would be the difference of cubes. So be very careful. Your rule is different in the blue. This is what it's like in red. It's going to be a perfect cubed minus a perfect cube. So the first step we need to do is we need to rewrite that 125. So it's going to be y cubed minus, and then 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Now we throw it into the rule. This will be your a, and that will be your b. So now it's going to be y minus 5, y squared plus y times 5 plus 5 squared. y minus 5, y squared, plus 5y. Plus 25. Last example. All right, we have 64x cubed, so I'm going to rewrite 64. as 4 times 4 times 4. I rewrite x cubed. So what that is writing as is 4x times 4x times 4x is 4x cubed. And then the next piece is 8y cubed. So it's minus 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. y times y times y is y cubed. So this whole thing is my a, and this whole thing is my b. I'll be very careful in this problem. So now I say, 4x minus 2y, so that's a minus b, parentheses, 4x squared plus 4x times 2y plus 2y squared. Now we clean up that second parentheses. 4x minus 2y. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 2y is 8xy. 
And then 2y times 2y is 4y squared.